Hey guys, it's Bren and I'm here with my annual candle collection video. I'm super excited to talk about this with you today and it's actually been two years since I've done one of these. Last year in lieu of a candle collection video, I did a video all about my candle shelves which were custom built for me by a friend. So if you're interested in that, there's a whole video about it. But 2018 was my last real like full collection video. And actually that video is the most viewed video on my channel. So I've been getting a lot of requests. I always get requests to do an updated collection video. So I thought, you know, this week while I'm off work, why don't we get it done? It's going to be a lot of work to take all these candles out to show them to you. But what else do we have to do? It's quarantine, right? Um, but this is a rotating collection. So it is fun to kind of do one every year because the collection does grow and change. I do use these candles Though I probably don't burn candles quite as much as you might think. Um, I probably, when I'm not reviewing for YouTube, I maybe I'm only burning a candle a couple times a week, you know, like a normal person. So it's a little bit more about collecting for me than actually burning, but I do use them up eventually. Um, I will say I probably buy more candles than I uh, use, so the collection is always growing, but that's okay. Uh, this is a hobby for me. It's one of the things that I do for fun. I enjoy collecting the candles, but also just being part of the candle community, making the YouTube videos, getting to know other people who like the same thing that I do. Um, and with that, I do have to give my general disclaimer. Um, whenever I put out a video like this, or even just like post a picture on Instagram of my candles, I will get mostly all awesome, fun comments. But there's always going to be some haters who say that I'm crazy, or I need mental help, or I'm a hoarder, or my favorite, which is like, you must be super rich, must be nice. <laughs> which just makes me laugh because I'm definitely not rich. In fact, I work two jobs aside from YouTube, but it's my second job, my part-time job that I kind of use for fun money. And I really only spend that on two things, uh, concerts and candles. And there hasn't been any concerts this year. So, you know, I had a little extra candle money, but um, it's actually not really that expensive of a hobby when you compare it to things like uh, my friend who has a horse and she spends way more money on having a horse and boarding her horse and equipment for that than I would ever dream of spending on candles. And I know people that spend way more money on like golf equipment or skiing equipment stuff like that and you know nobody calls them crazy so this is my thing it's the only thing that I collect um, but I think that if you are not a collector and you just don't have that collector's mentality maybe you just don't kind of you just don't get why it's kind of fun and it probably does seem like hoarding but I come from a collector a long line of collectors <laughs> my dad collects comic books he has way more comic books than I have candles um, so for me, it's just, it's kind of fun. It's fun to go back and reflect on old candles that I have, compare them to new candles. And like I said, just be part of the candle community. So with that being said, um, let me go ahead and get out of the frame so I can show you my whole setup and we'll start getting the candles out and we'll start talking it through. So this is my living room setup and how it looks at least at Christmas time. And this is how things look a little more normally without the Christmas decorations, although I left the tree up, but you get the idea. Basically, when I moved in here, I had no idea what to do with these big cutouts. They're obviously meant to be for kind of an entertainment center type situation, but I don't watch TV like pretty much ever. And so it didn't make sense for me to get a bigger TV, but I also didn't know where to put my candles here. So I came up with this idea. I started talking to my friend's husband who does a lot of woodworking and we measured it out, did all the specs and now I have these awesome shelves, which is, this is just perfect for me. You know, this place is just, it's very me. I love when people come over for the first time and they see the candles and just the, you know, the surprise that they have, but everybody thinks it's cool. You know, I had to get a new furnace. A couple of weeks ago but the furnace repair guys were hilarious they were like so uh you like candles <laughs> and uh, I was like yeah a little bit you know and they thought it was awesome we talked about it a little bit um, so it's fun it's a fun conversation piece and it's also functional I like having them all laid out because I can just chill on the couch and look at the candles and figure out you know what do I want to burn next and right now each shelf has a hundred that you know, show. So there's 200 showing uh, Bath and Body Works three wick, wick candles. And uh, there's also two layers on the top shelf and the bottom one goes five back. So there's plenty of storage in there. But I've gotten to the point where I've had to start like hiding candles when I get new ones. 
So for when I first got the shelves, I could totally fill them. That was no problem. Then I had to start eliminating repeats. Then I had to start eliminating repeats even if they were in different packaging, you know, because I used to have maybe two different island margaritas that looked different. But now it's just one of each scent showing. And now that even is filled up. So when I get new candles, I have to start kind of hiding and putting away ones that are... Uh, you know, maybe that I don't like as much or don't tend to burn or aren't as pretty or for whatever reason they get eliminated. And uh, I've joked that I just need to get rid of the TV and the fireplace and turn it all into candles, but that might be a little too much. So <laughs> this is what we're working with, but I do have them organized by season and the bottom shelf is spring and summer. The top shelf is kind of fall going into winter as you get higher up. So they are somewhat organized and also I have like labels and same collection candles together. Um, and you can see Roscoe on the couch there. He's gonna be with us for the video today, I have a feeling. But anyway, I'm gonna zoom in now. I'm gonna actually show you all the candles, but before I do that, I need to actually get the candles that are stored behind the ones you can see out so that we can talk about all of them. So this is gonna take me a minute, I'll be right back. You can't be here during this, bud. You're gonna knock the candles over. All right, so it's been about an hour and I got all the candles out. I'm actually kind of surprised it didn't take me longer and I feel like this is going to sound ridiculous, but I actually thought there might be more when I got them all out, but I have actually sold a lot of candles this year. I kind of went on a Mercari binge. I really started cleaning the house, taking inventory. When I redid my floors, I had to take all the candles on the bottom out and there were some where I was like, I don't need five of these, you know, that kind of thing. And I sold a lot. So um, I'm not, again, I'm not like totally a pack rat. Like I could say goodbye to some of these, but this is my collection right now of Bath and Body Works candles. I have all my three wicks here. There's some single wicks over there we can discuss. Um, but yeah, I, uh, I did end up putting the dogs in their crates downstairs. Uh, the higher I stacked, the more scared I got and I could just see Roscoe just running into the candles and knocking them all over. So as much as I do love a good dog cameo, uh, I couldn't risk it. But yeah, here's a shot of all of them. And now let's actually break it down and talk about them. All right, so are you all ready? I'm pretty excited. I just counted. People used to ask me all the time, you know, how many candles do you actually have? And I would say, I don't know, I think uh, probably at least 300. Well, I have 386 Bath and Body Works three wicks right here. So, and actually I forgot one. There's a sweater weather in the basement. That one's not pictured. So I have 387, plus I have the single wicks over here. Plus I have a stash of Yankee candles upstairs. I have some Pure Integrity candles. I have some Pure One candles and then just some random candles. So I easily have at least 400. Probably I end up somewhere between 400 and 450. I don't think I have quite 450 candles, but I'm probably pretty close. Check back in a couple of months. Um, and the Yankees and the other candles that I have, I'm not going to include in this video because I don't really collect those. They're not, I don't really consider them part of my collection. So this is really just my Bath and Body Works candle collection. But anyway, uh, let's start. Uh, let's actually start with fall, then we'll go into winter. Then we'll go down here and we'll talk about spring and summer. So I'm not going to, I mean, this video would be eternal if I talked about every single candle. I'll try to pan slowly so that you can see them all, but I'm just going to kind of talk about my favorites, the ones that stand out, the unique ones, you know, we'll, we'll kind of do it like that. That's how I usually do it. Hopefully that's all right. So two full rolls of fall and a little bit of fall up there. Let's get going. Um, okay. So Typically how I will have my things laid out is, you know, one of each showing and then I'll keep the extras behind. So normally I've got my sparkling pear Riesling in the front, then I'll have my backups behind that um, so that I can, you know, kind of be like, how many of these do I have, you know, and it looks like I have four. And so I've got that. This is the heirloom apple candle, which came out a couple years ago. This is the only one that I have left. It was rare. People like it. They want it to come back, but hasn't. Uh, Blackberry tea leaf is kind of a unique one. I've got a Halloween candle. Then we have candles from last year fall, so fall 2019. I've got, I love cinnamon and Irish cream. I've got the, the PBJ, the weird one. Um, I do feel like 
in more recent years, there's less of a reason to stock up on candles because they tend to bring candles back more. I feel like it used to be more common five or six years ago that they would have a scent come out once and never bring it back again. And now I feel like they do bring back scents, but PBJ is one that was weird and is now kind of a cult favorite that has not come back. So occasionally you do still get that. Um, this was a good opportunity to dust as well as I was taking these all out. Uh, but yeah, so last year's uh, fall, and then we get into like some of this year's fall. So these uh, here, love pumpkin cookie dough. It's one of my new favorites. Then we have some older candles here. Um, cider donut, one of the best ones that only came out once and never came back. Same with cranberry pumpkin. It's just so weird that they never brought that back. I only have this one, which is partially burned. Um, up here, some other ones, this was like Spice It Up was like two years ago. You always have to have love a marshmallow fireside and I just, I love this packaging. So I have a plain one that I burn. This one I don't burn because I just, I really like pink and gray together. I just, I don't know, I like the label. Love the label on pumpkin spice latte. You know, the candle's all right, it's pretty good, um, but the label is awesome. So I just have two of those. Um, these were from a couple years ago. I remember getting these. This was a failed test scent, Bonfire S'mores, but it came back then as a nationwide release. But this version was failed test. Harvest Pear never came back. I remember getting uh, these in Ohio back when I used to do that, back when they actually had test stores and candles would come out in test in certain locations. And now they kind of just put them all out online at the same time. There's not really a reason for me to take that trip anymore. And I it, sort of sad about that because I used to enjoy going to Ohio to get the candles, even though it was like a, what, 12, 13 hour round trip. It was fun. Now I don't have a reason to go. Um, but yeah, some other older fall candles. Um, you know, like labels and whatnot. Here's the Radiant Red Maple. I have one and a half. This is my full one. I've got a half of one that I burned. I'll probably never burn this one. Another one came out once, never came back. Cult favorite, people love it. I have some small wallflower tester candles in this as well. Um, and I'm just noticing I have this little cut on my finger, but you know, with the dogs and the cat, I'm always all, I've got a cut here too. I don't even know why. They're, they're always getting me. I just cut Roscoe's toenails and <laughs> he just massacred me. He hates it. And it's like, I painted my nails for this video, but I my hands still look like all beat up. But anyway, um, these were, what year? What year? What year? Uh, 16, 2016 fall. And of course, Chocolate Pistachio had first come out as a White Barn exclusive, which I don't have that one, but then it came out nationwide. Never came out again though. Pumpkin Spice Cheesecake. I have the one that's in this packaging as well as this one, and they're both like half burned for some reason. Um, I liked this candle, but a lot of people didn't, but I did. And this one never came back either, the Spice Pomegranate Cider, and I'm surprised people really liked it. Sorry, I got my finger in the shot there. Um, and then pumpkin peanut, peanut brittle, peanut brittle <laughs> is one that, uh, I thought might never come back. So I bought a lot of them and now it's come back every year. Same with blueberry maple pancakes. This is about the year. What was this? 2018. Yeah. That's kind of when I feel like they started bringing back scents instead of coming up with new ones. And so it was like, you know, there's less new scents to look forward to, but also, they bring things back that people like. So it's like, I don't know, it's the pros and cons. I just loved the label on this one. I'm not a big fan of smoky scents, but it's so cute. And then of course these were from 2000 and what, 15? Uh, 16, okay, 2016 fall as well. Uh, and then the last of fall that I have is up here just some and this isn't really fall but you know I've got kind of the white barn core thing going on and so this one snuck in here but um, the uh, autumn apricot never came back peppered plum came back as a single wick but like never again as a three wick spice coconut milk slightly different than the uh, pumpkin coconut that was in this collection and also came out in this collection and I do have one of those that's almost gone there it is I don't display that one anymore because it's like almost empty, but I still have it, still hanging on to it. Um, so that's kind of fall, but let's talk about what other fall I have. So my backups, 
my ones that are usually hiding again some sparkling pear riesling got a couple extra irish creams got a couple pbj's i did sell i used to have one more and i sold it on mercari because i do think the pbj candle is really weird and unique and like kind of good but i can't burn it a lot you know like i light it up and then 30 minutes later i'm like okay i've had enough of this it's not when i burn a lot but it is really neat to have in the collection but anyway i decided i could let one go um got my you know partially burned coconut macaroon i've got a warm apple pie that i burned my cookie doughs um pumpkin vanilla cream is basically exactly the same as pumpkin pie so i only have the pumpkin pie displayed and this one that's kind of beat up is the one that i burn um i've got another banana cream pie that one's okay there's just better banana scents so i didn't feel like i needed a bunch of those Spooky Vanilla is Vanilla Pumpkin Marshmallow. It is the same exact scent as Vanilla Pumpkin Marshmallow. I promise you that. Um, so this one also, even though I used to have it paired up with my Vampire Blood, again, when I had to eliminate because I keep getting more candles, I hid that one because I liked the label on the Vanilla Pumpkin Marshmallow better. The Old Pumpkin Donut Shop, which has a very plain label compared to the new one. Oh, that's Christmas. Okay. Um, again, my old pumpkin coconut. Got some backups of these here. A couple spice it ups. There's my boring marshmallow fireside. My extra pumpkin spice latte. My uh, another campfire pumpkin. I should actually use that one as the display since that one's full and that one's burned. I'm gonna switch those. Um, and I've got uh, you know an extra maple pancakes. I had more of these and I sold them when blueberry pie came out because I like blueberry pie better because I don't really like the maple note in this. Um, I've got some extra pumpkin peanut brittles. Pumpkin peanut brittle is so strong. I think I had five of these and now I have three. I sold two and I, or I made have given one to a friend and sold another one. Cause I also gave away a lot of candles this year. Um, in addition to selling some, and I did some trades as well. Uh, but yeah, there's, um, there's the other pumpkin spice cheesecake. Oh, but I was saying this one's very strong, so I can't burn this a lot either. So I only needed a few, but yeah, there's, I guess this one's not burned or maybe no, it's not. Okay. So I have one full and one partially burned. Um, there's my partially burned radiant red maple and an extra chocolate pistachio. And then I have, I don't know if you consider this fall or winter or summer. It comes out all the time, but I've got some campfire donuts. So I have three and a half campfire donuts which brings us up to winter candles because I've got another one up there, but I'm actually gonna get on a step stool when we talk about the winter ones. Okay, I'm now standing on an ottoman and praying that I don't fall. <laughs> so uh, here's the winter ones. And I have some of the oldest ones up here. So randomly I've got the eggnog candle, also a really strong one I can only take in small doses. Light up the room had the, the glitter lid and it's a little different than the wasabi apple, green apple, pink apple punch scent. It's like a little bit fruitier and it reminds me of kind of a combination of like the pink apple punch with island margarita. Oh my gosh, you guys, there's like, there's bad dust up here. I did not, <laughs> I did not, get up there to dust that well before this. Sorry about that. I guess I'll have to do that before I put everything back. Um, when I was taking them down, I was too low. I couldn't see. I can't even see it now from where I'm standing. I can only see it through the lens. <laughs> that is the one con about these shelves. There's a lot of, a lot of dusting to do, but anyway. Um, so then I have some very old candles here. So uh, Vanilla Latte is actually 2013 Winter Market Collection very old tis the season um this one here it, holiday apple crisp was a white barn exclusive it's really really good it's like a very apple cinnamon heavy type of almost like the pumpkin pecan waffle base but like it's not that intense cinnamon frosting don't ask me why that one never came back because what a great candle that candle is amazing and it came out for many years many many years and then it just stopped coming out and i only have this one <laughs> it's so good um i've got pumpkin gingerbread which only came out once and then spiced gingerbread which comes out all the time we also have gingerbread marshmallow down here um and then these cute labels the vanilla toasted chai vanilla, wait toasted vanilla chai was actually a different collection than these three a different year but 
the same look. And I only have that spiced apple toddy because it's cute. I don't even like that candle. I just really liked the little deer. And then we have these here. Peppermint brownie never came back. Cherry mocha never came back either, but I have plenty of those. Merry Cookie from that collection. Gooey Marshmallow never came back either. So that collection, well, Cherry Mocha wasn't in that collection, but we had a couple from that that never came back. And then over here we have some White Barn Core. So Merry Mimosa, Grapefruit Gin Fizz. I love gin. I wish I had backups of that one, but I remember it didn't really burn that great and I mostly bought it for that neon pink jar because it's really, really bright in person. I love Cinnamon Pinecone. I hate that packaging. That one first came out as a failed test set and then it came back and I have two and like a fourth uh, and I love it. I love it around the holidays. I would never actually hear my spares right here. So two and a third, we'll call it. Um, love that one. Never has come back. If it did, I'd buy more. Crushed candy cane. Yeah, no, I'm all right on that one. It's fine. Um, okay, so there's some peach candles. So we've got the new peach on earth. We've got the old peach meringue. I've got plenty of backups I'll show you in a minute. Those are on the floor. Cranberry peach and that plain red one is, um, ooh, what's it called, what's it called? I've got one down here too. I don't know which one's easier to get out. And again, I'm on a step stool, so. <laughs> um, roasted chestnut and cherries, that's what it was called, 2016. I think I probably have the, there it is. Um, that was an interesting one. So yeah, I have two of those. Neither one is burned, but if I feel like burning one, I will. Okay, one of the favorites, Italy Tuscan Lemon Tart has never come back. I have three. I don't think any of them are burned, but one day I might decide to burn one. And then I have the corresponding Paris one that's half gone, but that's not really anything that's special. Um, but yeah, that Italy Tuscan Lemon Tart goes for a lot of money on Mercari, I'll tell you that. Um, then we have some others from just like recent years. That berry vanilla bean never came back, and uh, it's pretty good as well. Only came out once, I have that one, and then like one that's maybe a third full. Chestnut and birch was a failed test scent that I picked that up at a test store, burned it a couple times. I don't really love it, but it's, it's pretty, it's unique that it's a failed test scent. I know I bought this vanilla snowflake for the label, it's so pretty. I've got one cozy cabin, not really the kind of scent I usually enjoy, but it's interesting every once in a while. Party dress, these are all out of whack here. Party dress um, is a floral and perfumey, and it's weirdly, I kind of like it sometimes. I don't know, I've got that one, and then I have one of the very first ones that's ever come out there. That was the first version. Um, cranberry sugar cookie, gift from Lar. He loved that one, he sent me that. It was also a failed test scent, and it is slightly different than cranberry pumpkin. They're very, very similar. They definitely share the same base, but there is not the pumpkin spice note in cranberry sugar cookie. It is a little bit different, and it's sad that that never came out. Um, popcorn and pine has never come back. I guess people weren't really digging it. I do, I have three. Uh, I think it's really unique. It does smell like popcorn. Uh, and then we've got some others there. Actually, I think, yeah, I must have when I was taking candles out to get behind. I must have reversed these because this one is supposed to be next to this. Anyway, okay. Uh, more winter candles. So these are, was this last year or two years ago? I don't remember. 2018, okay. 2018, of course, Orange Chocolate Truffle has never come back. And that one is awesome on cold. It's okay burning. It's awesome on cold. Um, and then the first peppermint marshmallow. Uh, peppermint sugar cookie from this year and gingerbread marshmallow. We've got the snowy candles, the New York cherry cheesecake and the London tea and biscuits. And New York cherry cheesecake is a repackage of the failed test scent frosted cake pop over here, which was in this collection. Uh, some from this year. Okay, so we've got the luminaries, um, ones from Candle Day, the Frosted Moscow, Berry Spritzer, last year's candle day sugar blueberry donut and cereal marshmallow bar and then um this year's release sweet cranberry pie and mary madeline cookie so that's what we've got from winter on the shelf i'm getting down off the ottoman so we can go through these so backups 
uh, cinnamon pine cones, extra peppermint marshmallow with a label that is all askew, <laughs> um, one extra light up the room, an eggnog, my popcorn and pines, and all of these. Down on the floor here, a little bit more winter because here are my backups of the Mary Madeline cookie as well as sweet cranberry pie. Backups, uh, a couple of cereal marshmallow bar, keep, couple sugared blueberry donut. I sold a couple of those this year as well. And then I have uh, three peach on earths in addition to the one up top, so four total. And then four peach meringues in addition to the one on top, which is partially burned. So 4.7, let's call it. And I do think I like peach meringue better than peach on earth, but you know me, I just love peach scents. And then over here, try not to sound like out of breath, even though I'm like getting up and down and getting on the floor and getting back up. Um, backups of winter. So here's the berry spritzer that's different than this year's berry spritzer. Some other backups from this year that I picked up. My two other Tuscan lemon tarts. Pink Fairy Gumdrop, which I have this year's version showing. So this one got hidden. Here's the Berry Vanilla Bean one that I have that I guess it's close to half full. Um, I have some really old Frosted Cranberries. This is the oldest one that I have. And I think my mom gave it to me and it's an actual slacking candle. And it is, uh, starts with a nine, but it must be 2009, not <laughs> 2019. Um, and then another old frosted cranberry and then this one which usually sits in a pedestal over there but i took it down for the video so i can put candles there a couple merry cookie backups merry cookie for me love it first half of the candle but every year every time i burn it ever halfway through it starts getting smoky it starts smelling bitter it turns black it's only good for half i don't know that's how i feel about it um, here are my Frosted Cake Pop Failed Test Scents, which again, repackaged as New York Cherry Cheesecake, and I have a backup of that too. But honestly, I feel like the Frosted Cake Pop burns better, so I like this one better. And then I have Blueberry Sugars. This was the first Blueberry Sugar that came out. Uh, a stronger, better version of the old, um, what was it called? Blueberry Twist from Summer. So it was like kind of a new scent, but also like a redo of an old one. And then I've got one more of this version. My backups of orange truffle and this little bit of one that I'm working on, another white mint latte. I have three backups of cherry mocha because I do really like that one. And, uh, and then randomly an evergreen with a marble lid. That's usually a display candle. I usually have that on a pedestal on this uh, side table. But anyway, okay, so that, that's winter. That wraps up winter three wicks. Let's move on to summer. So moving on, this is gonna be a long video, y'all. Should I give you an intermission? Like take a break, go get a snack, come back. All right, here we go. So spring and summer, it's hard to say some, for some of them, like this is spring, this is summer. I mean, they're all kind of mixed up. Some are clearly very summer, like some of the tropical scents, I think. And some are definitely more spring, but they're all sort of mixed up on the shelf. Um, so anyway, all right, I'm sitting on the ottoman now. Sorry if it's noisy as I scoot around. Uh, so I have this collection here from, what was it? A couple springs ago. I rem remember it was a release right after like semi-annual sale in the winter. Banana Bundt Cake, love Banana Bundt Cake. I have a few backups of that. That's come back one more time. Key Lime Pie is also pretty good. And I have a couple backups of that. Now the spring market collection this was from spring 2014 wait nope poured at the end of 2014 so it came out for spring 2015 loved this collection and how they brought the entire sweet shop collection back that if they were going to do that again this is the collection i would want to come back tequila lime cupcake and iced almond chai were white barn exclusives i actually bought that iced almond chai on mercari for way too much money um, but I only had one other one that I had used up. I really wanted to have another one in my collection. They have never quite come back with a scent like that. They've tried, like there's toasted vanilla chai that I showed you up top. It's not the same, it's not as good. I'm not really a big fan of cherry blossom sangria, but it came with the iced almond chai and I liked having 
more from this collection. The only ones in this collection that I'm missing are repeats that come back all the time, like Cinnamon Sugar Donut, Watermelon Lemonade, and Peach Bellini. I think we're also in this collection, but I have all the unique ones. I actually got the Vanilla Bean Marshmallow on a trade with my friend Anissa, who used to work at BBW and lives in my town. Um, traded her for that this year, and then, like I said, kind of rounded out the collection <laughs> with some big purchases on Mercari. Uh, Tequila Lime Cupcake, I really love it, and they brought it back as key lime pie, but not this key lime pie. So this Tequila Lime Cupcake got repackaged as a failed test scent called Key Lime Pie, and I always try to take credit for that and say, like, I said Tequila Lime Cupcake should be called Key Lime Pie because that's what it smelled like to me. Then they brought it back and it failed test, so whatever. Then they have this version of Key Lime Pie, which, um, is different it's like a little sweeter I think a little more candy like um, but anyway strawberry rhubarb marmalade is also um, a great one from this collection that they have never brought back even though it's I would say it's definitely a cult favorite people love it I think I have actually burned this one I the other day I just decided I'm gonna burn it I've got three backups down there so anyway moving on sweet shop collection most of these Actually, all of these that you see here are from the reboot when they brought this collection back. Uh, but I have just one of the original raspberry peach macarons um, over there somewhere. So I, I love pineapple cream puff. I have a few backups of that. And I think I have one backup of the honey cinnamon crumb cake as well. And strawberry sorbet and lemon drops come back. Lavender marshmallow is also the same as... Paris Lavender Macaron, which I have one of those too. Uh, okay, over here some White Barn Coors, kind of. I don't know, Toasted Coconut S'more is not really a White Barn core, but it has a plain label like that, so I put it over here with the new Raspberry Mimosa, some others. Um, moving on down here, the Golden Grapefruit was a White Barn exclusive, and the Midnight Blue Citrus, that version is the first version that ever came out, and that was also White Barn exclusive, but it ended up being a big hit for them, and so they brought it back many times nationwide. We've got some others. Of course, the Strawberry Pound Cake, which is a huge one for them now. Uh, Sweet Cherry Pie, when it first came out with Strawberry Mimosa. This collection's pretty old. Let's see. This one is from 2016. By the way, the way that I know that is the first number of the code there. See how it says like 6014? That means it was poured in 2016 on the 14th day. So yeah, that collection, spring 2014, Praline Pecan Cobbler had been out many times, but that strawberry vanilla only ever came out that one time, except it came back in a mini, tiny mini candle for Easter. Go figure. Um, all right, Mocha Latte Swirl and Blueberries and Cream. I remember getting these in Ohio as well because they were test. Um, and this was, well, they came out nationwide eventually, but I got them in test and, uh, this is the end port of the end of 2015. So it came out for spring 2016 and that's the collection where we had the failed key lime pie, but you can see that label matches those. Uh, some more recent releases from that weird online collection that only ever came out online with the unicorn sprinkles, the vanilla cola candy. I have a couple of those. I like it. The passion fruit vanilla cupcake. Uh, the one that I could grab online from the lavender collection. Uh, and I, I like that one, but I just have the one. Blueberry pie, you know I love it. I've got that one. I think that one's like half gone. Then I've got three more of that, but I like cranberry pie better. So I exchanged some of my blueberry pies for cranberry pies this year. And then, uh, yeah, a couple more. I'm not really a big chocolate candle person or a caramel person, but I kind of dug salted chocolate caramel. It smells like a candy bar. Moving down, we've got some more beachy type candles. Aloha Beaches is Aloha Kiwi Passion Fruit, which I also have like those two from the first release of it and then the Costa Rica version. I do love that candle, it's really good. Uh, Tiki Beach, of course. Now this one, this I got at a test store and it was a whole collection. The whole collection failed test. Um, and this was the only one that was new in that collection though. They were all like animal print. And I've never burned it. I wish I had more of the ones so that I could burn it, but I don't want to burn it because it's special. <laughs> um, okay, so an island margarita, a couple more tropicals. You've got more tropicals. 
We have to talk about prickly pear and sugar cane, of course. This one was actually gifted to me by a viewer who sent it to me because I only had one and the one that I had is half gone now. So now I have one and a half, but I'll never burn this one. It's so special. Um, it was failed test and it is going for like $100. You can pay $100 for that candle on Mercari right now. Um, it only came out once. It's, it's a fantastic pear scent. It's really juicy, fruity, and they just, They've never brought it back. It's, it's weird. Bring it back. People, obviously, if they're willing to pay a hundred bucks for it, you know, Bath the Body Works, you should probably bring it back. Um, all right, some more. We've got the Summertime Soda, Banana Split Milkshake. I don't really like the root beer candle. Here's some from recently, right? Cookies and Cream, Clementine Sherbert. Uh, peach Sugar Cone, big favorite of mine from the beginning of this year. You know, I, you know I'm crazy about the peach scents, but that one's a good, like, summer peach. Then I've got the uh, Valentine's Day candle, which is just a repackage of Pink Fairy Gumdrop, but I just bought it for the packaging. I do love Valentine's Day decor. <laughs> um, and I put my pistachio cream and my raspberry tangerine next to each other because they're both floral like that. I only have one backup of that pistachio. Moving down. All right. Test Lab collection. Um, so this was an interesting collection because... The Sriracha and the Lavender Cacao came out nationwide. The Exotic Lychee, I believe it is, right? Um, and the, the Thai Coconut Basmati, those were like not White Barn exclusives, but like not test either. It was a really weird situation. They only came out in like certain White Barn stores. I ended up driving like two hours to the south side of Chicago uh, to get them. It was odd. It was an odd thing. I don't even know what they were doing there, but the uh, the exotic lychee smells so good on uh, cold, but it burns poorly. They brought back the Thai coconut basmati though, um, so that one has come out nationwide in that collection there with the Italy and the Costa Rica. Uh, all right, there's the ice cream shop from this year, saltwater taffy. A couple new ones I just picked up at Candle Day. Uh, here's the tomato vine candle. So interesting. So unique. Never came back. Just have that one. Glad I have that one. I only also have that one honey tangerine from that collection. All right. Here's some, some French candles. Uh, so we've got the French baguette. We've got the sweet tiramisu. Um, the Merci Paris or Paris. Uh, Paris Cafe. I think that was the first Paris Cafe. That's like the original first release. And now it's come out a billion times since. Uh, we've got, you can see I've got like all the destinations together because there is the Rome Pizzeria candle. Obviously, I think most people, if you follow Bath and Body Works, you kind of know about this one now. It's super weird, but it was an old failed test set and it was such a cool, unique one to have in your collection if you did have that failed test scent because it was just so weird. And then they brought it out again. And I think at first people were like, oh, this is awesome. But then it's it kind of is like, I don't know, you don't want to burn it too much. It's really not that bad. To me, it smells like the like herb bread at Subway. <laughs> but it's all right. I gave one to a friend who had kids because they thought it was cool. And I wasn't going to sell it for very much on Mercari. There's a million of them on there. Um, all right, I've got, you know what I've got to do? I've got to get down on the floor. We're getting too low. I gotta have a better angle. Um, okay, so I've got a London tea and lemon. I have um, Italy chocolate and cannoli. And then these are some really old destinations. Let's see, what year are we looking at here? 2015, it looks like, beginning 2015. Uh, the palm trees and sunshine, very much like the palm leaves. I think palm leaves was a candle. I'm pretty sure I know I had it in a wallflower, but it's a very green scent. And then Bangkok. That was a repackage of the old Tropical Spice candle, which was kind of before my time. Uh, but it's it's pretty interesting, pretty good. Bottom shelf here. Again, pardon my dust. I, like, I literally vacuumed before I did this video, and it doesn't matter. This place is full of tumbleweeds. That's what you get, I guess, for having River, who is super fluffy. Um, okay, so Espresso Bar is uh, different than the Paris Cafe. It's not as good. Um, but that one, it's a nice one to have in the collection. My market peach, 
that that's it man that's my first bath and body works three wick that i really started collecting and hoarding so i have some older ones like that old frosted cranberry that i showed you but the market peach was my gateway to like all of this because um it was the first one i got hooked on and it has some sentimental value for me for sure so i will never burn that one first watermelon lemonade and the watermelon ice um toasted coconut don't like it but that sweet honeybee really smells like honey but when i burn it i get like allergies because it has like a floral note too so i don't really burn it i've just got that one uh hooray that's uh that's basically pink apple punch slash wasabi apple the happy birthday candle is pink lemonade pound cake i find it very interesting because when they rebooted the sweet shop collection and they brought all these back they didn't bring back pink lemonade pound cake which in the original sweet shop had been a failed test scent in a three wick but had been available in a single wick well people kind of got mad they were like where's pink lemonade pound cake they brought back the whole collection they didn't bring back that one so then they did bring it back for us a little while later but as the happy birthday candle so okay very waffle cone girl power such an ugly stupid label but that's strawberry cupcake and i'm gonna just give you a unpopular opinion right now i personally like strawberry cupcake better than strawberry pound cake sorry i do strawberry cupcake actually has a bakery note in it whereas strawberry pound cake is more like a strawberries and cream type scent there's really no bakery i just i prefer this one i don't know but that'll probably never come back because now they just put out strawberry pound cake all the time whatever i've got two of those uh banana scents we've got banana cabana tropical banana pomegranate spritzer is an old white barn exclusive but it's very similar to the pomegranate lemonade little different though we've got gelato we've got uh, the old raspberry lime margarita weirdly released in winter kind of at the end of winter like before like after candle day before sas coconut leaves they used to put that one out all the time and then they stopped i've got two um and then some other plain ones we've got you know, the vanilla peach tea from this year. And then home, sweet caramel comfort, really good one as well. Kind of smells like caramel apple, but like a cleaner type of scent. And then we have all my backups of <laughs> spring and summer candles over here. These are the ones that are usually hiding underneath and behind all of these. So uh, Wild Huckleberry was a, um, what am I trying to say? failed test scent but it was it came out again as a pomegranate in that collection there with the almond and the currant uh but it was cool to i don't really like it but it was cool to have that one um just because it's unique got an old lemon verbena lemon mint leaf guava pina colada some other test lab backups in this one turmeric and tarragon it's pretty gross i don't really like it but i own it for some reason um my other from this year we've got some old mint chocolate coconut lime verbena has been melted as you can see with the wicks like all over the place um the aloha's waikiki backup isla margarita mango mai tai the old blueberry twist which is a very weak version of blueberry sugar uh and old island waters my blueberry pie backups my sweet cherry pie backups a couple extra strawberry pound cakes uh, some key lime pies, some other random backups. There's some vanilla cola candies. This is coconut vanilla. Uh, my strawberry rhubarb marmalades, my extra tequila lime cupcake, and a sparkling limeade that's almost gone. Uh, that key lime pie, it, it broke my heart to take that off the display because it's so cool and I love the neon green. But again, I'm just running out of room. And since it is the same as the tequila lime cupcake, I kept that one. And I had this one now, but it's so awesome. My banana bunt backup, some market peach. I picked up a candle day. Another pizzeria for some reason. There's my banana bunts, my pineapple cream puff backups, my original raspberry peach macaron from the original release of Sweet Shop, the extra coconut leaves, coconut clotta. There's that prickly pear and sugar cane that I have that's partially burned and a Bangkok. There's the Paris lavender macaron, which again is the same as lavender marshmallow, which is why I no longer display it, even though it's pretty cute. I've got one extra golden grapefruit, some baguettes. Um, this was the first release of Berry Waffle Cone. This is Berry Waffle Cone. Both of these are. It came out in that fancy glass at first. There's my extra strawberry cupcake, some others, some pink lemonade pound cakes, extra tiki beach, banana split milkshakes, 
what else do we have going on up here? Some ice cream shops. Um, a white peach, which is the same as Market Peach, and a half of a Paris cafe. Um, some other random extras, some extra waffle cones. There's my peach sugar cones. I have four of those in addition to the one that's on display. This is palm leaves and mango, I want to say it's called. It could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure it's something like that. And, uh, yeah, it's good. <laughs> I don't know what else to say about it. Uh, kind of an iridescent glass. I No, I don't think it came out at the same time as that. It was a little, little different. It came out at the same time as this one here, um, which is I just have for display. It's like a water scent. What is it called? Ocean something? Blue ocean waves. But I just I like turquoise. These also are turquoise waters, and they are usually displayed on pedestals around my house. And then pineapple crumb cakes and this you're the bee's knees honey vanilla randomly there and that's it <laughs> that's those are all the three wicks i'm still going to show you the single wicks but those are all the spring and summer three wicks okay we're almost done y'all so i have these single wicks here i also will show you i just have this drawer full of candle stuff here so i've got a melter i have random lids i have like tiny candles and candle accessories and milk cups and things in there but yeah that's all that junk um here we have as i mentioned i have the radiant red maple wallflower testers some other random single wicks this is guava colada uh, when they did that kind of like wine glass look um there's my original sweet shop single wicks i have those low profiles back there peach and avocado coconut i'm kind of glad they stopped doing that they didn't work on my shelf um <laughs> And then some other just single wicks that I have picked up over the years and there as well. So those are, those are the single wicks, not too many of those, but Bath and Body Works candles. So I wanted to include them. So that's it. That's the end of the candle collection video. I hope it lived up to your expectations for all of you that have been requesting this video for uh, over a year now, pretty much. Um, I want to thank you so much for watching and spending some time with me today. I invite you to subscribe to my channel if you're not already. Uh, if you're interested in candle reviews or candle hauls, um, that's mostly what I post here on this channel. I also have an Instagram. You can follow me on Instagram at Candles and Music. Um, but yeah, that's it. That's my collection. That's my 2020 candle collection video. I want to say happy holidays to everybody. Hang in there. We're almost through this terrible year. So very, very happy new year. And I will see you all later. Bye. Are you guys going to put all these away for me? I think that would be good. You know, pulling your weight around this house. So I'll leave you to it then.